There we go. Welcome everybody to our Blue Canoe session. This is a lab class with teachers and learners in the room at the same time. I'm Karen Taylor of the Color Vowel Chart. And tonight I usually have the chart behind me, but we're going to be looking at Blue Canoe and letting Blue Canoe do the work for us. So uh, we'll spend some time on our phones today. We still have some folks entering the room. Oh, greetings. We've got Costa Rica, we've got Michigan, Japan, Shizu Shizuoka. Is that correct, Matthew? Shizuoka. Yeah? Close. <laughs> Wonderful. Great. Well, I see you coming in there. So um, how many, well, let me just ask, not how many questions, but who's using Blue Canoe and who has questions tonight? If you have a question, you can put it there in the chat so that we're sure we address it um, and let us know, you know, so everyone can see. Mention whether you're a teacher or whether you're a learner, a user. Um, so when we say user, we mean students or learners of English, okay? Um, and today, I thought I'd spend some time with the question of how to really use and practice Blue Canoe. And so I thought I'd take a moment to model um, what isn't the ideal? <laughs> so uh, today I think I'll focus, um, as we do, I'm gonna go ahead and use my document camera for a minute so you can see it up close. And here, we'll make some adjustments to light. Make sure you can see well. Okay, teachers, if you ever use a document camera, you want to lower the light level on your phone and that improves the visibility. I think that's pretty good right there. Okay, all right. And so um, here I am in Blue Canoe today and we will let our other folks into the room. There we go. Um, so here we are in the room and I would start off with my today's plan. And if I were not a student who knew how to really use Blue Canoe, I might take it like almost like a textbook and just go page by page and be finished. For example, if I come down and I go to a lesson like traveling, it's very easy to simply look at this and then record. And if I say, um, it was a smooth fright and I sleep well. And so I make a recording and in this way, you know, it seems like we're working hard and we get some feedback. What I've watched a lot of people do is simply, well, okay, okay, I see something here. I think I'll try again. It was a smooth fright and I sleep well. And I hear people making the same mistake twice or even three times when there's a much sort of better way to study and to make more progress with each turn. So then somebody might say, oh, I made the same mistake. I'm frustrated. And then they hit the next button and they go to the next sentence. So it's very possible to play the activities in Blue Canoe with a minimum amount of progress if you don't know how to get the most out of each moment you speak. So that's my goal tonight is to present to you some strategies for getting the most out of Blue Canoe, okay? Um, so with this sentence, I actually have, uh, we know we have three turns when we record, and this is my second sentence. Um, and so I'm going to model what we can do. First, I can look at my sentence and I can listen. I have a connecting flight with a long layover. Now there's a benefit to listening to this. I would say two or three times, especially, especially if some of the sentence sounds very fast to you, or if it's unfamiliar to you. So just listening again. I have a connecting flight with a long layover. So maybe you noticed if you can watch me at the same time as the screen I'm showing you, maybe you've noticed that I'm using my hand as I listen. And I'm just gonna do one small adjustment here to see if I can make better use of my space. One second, everybody. Okay. And then I can make things nice and big for you. Okay. Is that better? Okay. So now what I'm doing is I'm listening with my hand. And that sounds strange because usually we listen with our ears, but let's listen with our hand. You ready? Do it with me. Here we go. 
up, have a connecting flight with a long layover. I meant to play the play, hold on. <laughs> Let's see what my first result was. It was a bit hasty. Okay, it knows me too well. So now let's go back to our idea. We're going to start with a new sentence, okay? So let's listen. Could you please check my bags? Could you please check my bags? Could you please check my bags? So I can listen three times or even more just to get the music of the sentence in my head. I already have that song. Ba, 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 ba. Could you please check my bags? Yeah. Ba, 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 ba. Could you please check my bag? So I can start hit listening to it. I can then do a second thing. So first thing was, listen with your hand. Could you please check my bags? Listen to the music. The second step would be to speak with the recording. So I'm going to do that right now. Watch me and then I'll let you do it too. Here we go. Could, Could you please check, check my bags? bags? I'll do it again. Could, Could you please check, check my bags? bags? So I'm using my voice at the same time as the recording. We call that the choral, like singing in a chorus, the choral piece, right? This the speak with it piece. What can I do now? Now I could listen and repeat. That would be my third strategy. Could you please check my bags? Could you please check my bags? Can I do it again? Could you please check my bags? Could you please check me bags and check my bags? Okay, so I'm starting to really get it in my mind and then I can record. Oh, but wait, what if I want to focus on one of these words? I can listen again here. Green tea, please. Green tea, please. Black cat bags. Black cat bags. Listen again. Could you please check my bags? Could you please check my bags? Now, by the time I repeat it and I record it, it's much closer to the model. Okay. Your brain has had at least 10, at least 10 exposures to the model sentence. And all of the sentences we've written in Blue Canoe, um, we aim to make them useful in their phrasing. So you can reuse this for other phrases. So let me ask some questions now that we've spent time with this sentence. Can somebody uh, offer a sentence? And I would like a teacher first with one idea and then one of our learners. I'd like to finish this sentence with a new ending. So I'd like to cover this up. Could you please, could you please, what could we do to change this sentence now and use it in my life? Any ideas? Could you please read my report? There we go. Could you please read my report? Great. Uh, Could do you we have please another idea? Fix my car. Could you, Could you please, please fix my fix car? My car? <laughs> nice. We have an idea from a student. And could everyone, just any ideas you have, put it in the chat. Let's see what we have as some ideas. But do we have a student who can volunteer, a learner? Any volunteers or any more ideas? Everybody's welcome to write in the chat. Let's see what we have. Could you please, that's the beginning of the sentence. In other words, you can do a lot while playing Blue Canoe, just staying on one screen and creating new sentences and practicing. Could you please get my lunch? Could you please pass the salt? These are the sentences in the chat, okay? All right, let's go to another sentence. This is our, I think the fourth sentence, okay? And again, you might find a new word here. Uh, depends on your exposure to English and how much you know about a topic, right? So if aisle is a new word for me, or it looks like ISIL, I don't know what it is, I can listen. White tie aisle. Let's. White tie aisle. White tie aisle. And then finally I'll listen. White tie aisle. Aisle, okay. And then. Red pepper leg room. Leg room, okay. Red, Red pepper, pepper leg room. Red pepper leg room. Let me listen to the whole sentence. I'd like an aisle seat with extra leg room. Make it as high as possible. I'd like an aisle seat with extra leg room. 
I'd like an aisle seat with extra leg room. Now, um, if you don't know where to move your hand, uh, you notice I'm moving mine a lot because I'm hearing, I'd like an aisle seat with extra leg room. But that's because I already know where the stresses are because I'm a native speaker of English. If you're finding it difficult to know where to open your hand, we keep it very simple. The simple minimal answer is to open your hand where the line is, right here and here. So let's listen and open our hand just on aisle and leg room. I'd like an aisle seat with extra leg room. I'd like an aisle seat, seat with, with extra, extra leg room. I'd like an aisle seat, seat with extra leg room. I'd like an aisle seat with extra leg room. It's a tongue twister. <laughs> Lextra egg room. Okay, we'll see if, if we get past the guards. Okay, so I think I got caught. <laughs> I made a little mistake there. I said Lextra egg room because it's, you know, 10 o'clock at night here. So let's see what they tell me. I couldn't hear this word clearly. <laughs> Listen to the okay. word, focus on the stress, and try again. Great. So who's doing, are any of you doing something like this? Are you spending time on the sentence? And if so, what are you doing? Okay. Uh, I'd love to know from the chat. I have a question from, um, from Tang. Um, could you please verify my text? Yeah, so that's, could you please get my lunch? Could you please verify my text? Okay, beautiful. Comments or questions from teachers so far? Is this new for you, anybody? Um, and if so, what does it add for you? I'm noticing something that I didn't notice last week, and that's that um, you're keeping the rhythm the same when you uh, repeat it. So uh, could you please pass the salt? Could you please pass the salt? It's consistently, uh, I mean, you're, you're, you're continuing the same song, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I hadn't thought of it as, as a melody before that, that you were singing, but I really like that, that interpretation because it, it, uh, it then lets you um, repeat it in the same rhythm that you've been listening. That's right. That's right. And so it, in a way, by having so much repetition, it really starts to reveal its song. Could you please, could you please, ba, 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 ba. could you please close the door? You know, so we could actually go around the room knowing that we want these sentences to get stuck in your head. In other words, we want these phrases to get stuck so that you can walk around and easily pull out, could you please read my report? Could you, you know, so forth. So if you would. <laughs> yep. yep, it really does become that. Um, when we say that the color vowel method is brain-based, this is one very strong example of that, that suddenly there's something very uh, attractive or sticky about the phrase and it stays over here in the musical brain. Uh, and helps us speak effectively. Um, what I was thinking since everybody's come and we have quite a few, both teachers and learners, I was thinking we could go around the room and we could just practice finishing that sentence. So if, you, if it gets to you and you don't know what to say, you can say, um, could you please pass my turn? <laughs> and that'll, that'll be your turn if you can't think of anything else. But we're just gonna practice. We'll say, could you please could you please, could you please close the door? Okay. And I'll just call on different people whose names I see if that works for everybody. Hmm? Um, or if you want, I tell you what, I can see who's a volunteer if you unmute yourself. And then, you know, like that. So I see Doug, you're, uh, you're still muted. I'm okay. <laughs> hey, Doug, could you please, you can do the whole sentence. Uh, could you please wash my dog? Wash your dog? I'd have to think about that. Um, John, would you like to try one? Okay. Uh, could you please change my reservation? Good. With your hand, John, with your hand. Yeah, try it with your hand and the rhythm will help you. Go ahead. Okay. Could you please change my reservation? Yeah. 
it made such a difference. It, it really was beautiful. Did. Wow. So, so John, what I want to say, and the teachers all saw this, we all were excited, but I want everyone to know um, if you didn't notice the difference for English speakers, the time that changed just slightly by having you open your hand was very significant for us. Okay. And all English speakers, I want you to, was that true? Do you agree with me? Look at everybody's nodding, okay? <laughs> Meaning this is something that you might not notice or you might notice but don't, don't know is very significant. But for me, it's, it's everything. I can wow. hear your sentence when you do it, right? Good, yep. fantastic. Another, another volunteer. Do we have, um, who's there? Matthew. I'm unmuting. <laughs> He's like, could you please do me a favor? Nice. Could you please do me a favor? Let's all repeat after Matthew. Could you please, Could you please do, me do me a favor? favor? Very nice. Good. Yes. Yeah, Robin. Could you please wear a mask? Everybody. Could you please wear a mask? I'll add to that. Could you please wear it over your nose? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, let's see. I see. Um, I don't have a name, but I would love to have some other volunteers. Who else would like to try a sentence? Jean. Could we please take a break? Yeah. Could <laughs> we? Great. So now Jean took that very same. This is the sentence that we started with in Blue Canoe. And now she's changing it again from could you please close the door to, could we please take a break? It's beautiful. Everybody try it. Could we please take a break? Could we please take a break? Could we Great. Please take a break? Any more versions of that sentence? Good, yes. Let's unmute you. Could you please serve the dish? Good, could you please serve the dish? Yeah, like in a restaurant? Yeah. Great, oh. could you please serve the dish? Could, uh, what, what else would we say? Could you please check on my order, right? Mm -hmm. Like if it's late and they haven't come with the food. So let's try, <laughs> let's try your sentence. Could you please serve the dish? Could you please serve the dish? Could you please check on my order? Could you please, please check out Nice, nice, wonderful. Good. Tang, would you like to try one? Yes. Um, could you please check my bag? Could you please check my bag? That's an excellent sentence. And notice you can slow down by saying, could you please check my bag? So all four of those words are central. That's wonderful, Tang. Thank you. Wonderful. I see um, some other folks. If your camera's off, I'm going to assume maybe you can't speak up. But if you want to, just raise your hand. I'm looking over here in the um, participants. And I'd love to see any hands that are raised. OK? Or just open your mic. OK? As we do that, do we have one more? Now has one. Uh huh. Go ahead now. Okay. Could you please make me smile? Oh. <laughs> you make me so happy. Could you please make me smile? Could you please tell me a joke? Yeah. Could you mm -hmm. please make me laugh? Great. So we start to hear that that something that now is almost so much like a, a single word. Could you please? Could you please? Could you please? that it's like something you just put in your pocket and pull it out as a whole piece. Mm -hmm. And now all you have to think about is the second part. And this helps us be more fluent when you speak, especially if you're stressed about something or you're in a hurry, it's easy to pull out. Could you please help me out? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Comments in the, yeah. So as Robin mentioned, we call these chunks, you know, chunks of language, these words hang out together. So let's take a look again. We'll look at- blue And they're paper. processed in a different part of the brain also. Mm-hmm. So Every that, time helps we do... get, that helps you get around Broca's area again. 
Yeah, so every time we can, we can leave the language part of the brain and do something else with some other part of our brain, the more effectively we can speak, actually. It's, Aaron, how uh, is that different from thought groups, these chunks? Yeah, so chunks are, um, they, they are different. Um, they're very, they're similar though. They're sort of nested, let's say. It's a little bit like an onion. Um, a, a, a thought group is a group of words in a sentence and a chunk could be two words that like to spend time together. Yeah, so th these are more likely to be lexicalized or, or um, collocations or uh, idioms, things that belong together. So could you please is something that you can, uh, as Karen said, you could just pull out as a whole chunk instead of thinking of it as could and then you and then please you don't have to make that up anymore you, that's already stored as a unit it's but like, not uh, all thought groups are stored as a unit so like why, yeah, what I, I tell my students sometimes that what are you often becomes what are you mm -hmm. what are you like yeah. the, the spelling could yeah. almost become w h a double d a y a something like this yeah also, uh, collections of, of words, uh, things like I am not sure is like, you know, I'm not sure. I mean, I have kids who, who are just learning English, uh, you know, just a lower level. And so I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure I want to. I'm not sure. And they use that all the time, even though they really, you know, can't write very good sentences, but they, they, they can say that. Uh, yeah. because they hear it in school and they hear these like punks coming together yeah wonderful what i use all the time is it's a or what's that yeah it's a because otherwise pe people will say it is a and that's mm -hmm. not how we say it tang raises a good question yeah, and you, tang, i'd like to repeat yes. what you wrote here which is she says i i usually repeat the sentence but i get i get this the wrong sound tang can you tell us more about that experience? Yeah, um, sorry. Um, every time I use the blue canoe and I listen it, and then when I repeat it, the first time I have a kind of like the score kind of like good sometimes in, in a couple of words, I have one or two words is need to repeat it. But the more I try it, the more I get worse. And then and at the end, I, the score I get lower and lower. I, so I decide to to go back all the way to the start from the beginning, and so I can repeat it again. So I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking. Maybe I'm too tired and my jaw cannot move correctly. Mm -hmm. So that's why I just close it and go back. Sometimes I have to go back on the next days in into. Um, repeat it again. Okay. I wonder if maybe some of what's happening is I'm just going to, you know, we're going to simulate this here. So if I'm looking at a sentence and I get some feedback, if I'm looking at this with my eyes, maybe I'm going to try to do something with my eyes. Like we, we know that spelling is not a reliable guide to the pronunciation. And so there could be an advantage, in other words, to taking, I'm gonna take a little piece of paper here and I'm going to cover this up. You know, that there's an advantage if you get feedback and you know you need to practice that instead of looking at it is to listen without looking at it. I'd be very curious to know if that makes a difference for you, Tang, because there's a chance that the more you try, the more you're relying on what your eyes see, yeah? And yeah. so you might be saying, um, ticket, that's a very common mispronunciation, ticket, ticket, with a green vowel instead of a silver vowel. And okay. the more you look at it, this I in your language might be the E sound. Yes. Mm. And then you get more stressed and more focused. And so ticket, <laughs> ticket, because it's more intuitive to you. Mm -hmm. Another thing that could happen when you're, uh, trying extra hard is that maybe you stress every syllable and that messes up the uh, which vowel it is has the main stress. Right. So again, if you if you step back instead of looking and make a song out of it, simply by repeating. Can I please have a round trip ticket? Can I please have a round trip ticket? Can I please
please have a round trip ticket? Can I please have a round trip ticket? If you're irritated, that's for sort of my goal here. <laughs> ba 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 ba. Can I please have a round trip ticket? Can I please have a round trip ticket? Can I please have a round trip ticket? Do you see how this is turning into music, Tang? Yeah. And if you can first sing the song, it will help you maintain the rhythm and then the vowels and then the consonants. Okay. I'll try that way. Yeah. Can you please have a round trip ticket? Can you please, can I please have a round trip ticket? Can I please wrap it up the round time trip ticket? Yeah, you see how that's, it's sort of forcing you, exactly, thank you for practicing that. Um, that then if you're having difficulty with these consonants that are coming together, round trip ticket, round trip ticket, just take out that part of the song, round trip ticket, round trip ticket, round trip ticket. Can I please have a round trip ticket? Can I please have a round trip ticket? And then I can listen again. Can I please have a round trip ticket? Do you see how closely we're still very close yeah. to the speech? Yeah. It's just a little bit of a song. Mm -hmm. yeah, for that one, there should be a brown on round. There could be. Um, this one we could have made actually. A could I please have ticket. a round trip ticket? I agree with you. I agree. Can I please have a round trip ticket? Perfect. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> that was beautiful. Can I <laughs> Anyone else want to try please, that? Yeah. Can I please have a round trip ticket? Yay. <laughs> Anyone else want to try that one? Let me try. Can I can I please have a round trip ticket? Great. And we were sticking to your hands. Yeah, you can exactly. I love your hand. And there's even actually there is another stress right there. Mm -hmm. um, can I please have a round trip ticket? So try, imagine there's a line here and mm -hmm. do it again, John. Can I please have a round trip ticket? Beautiful, really mm -hmm. just unmistakably clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, that's great. Isn't that great? <laughs> I agree. I'm can wondering... I please have a round trip ticket? <laughs> I need to finish recording. <laughs> Let's see if I can get 100%. That'd be satisfying, right? After all this practice. Yay, yes. 98%. <laughs> when you get 98, don't don't worry about the 2%, okay? Yes. I, anything over 90, you're, you're fine. <laughs> hey, Karen, I was just wondering, is could you build into the software the little post-it notes so that it could obscure the text? That is a great idea, isn't it, Penny? <laughs> we do that and say just just cover up and listen for a minute right uh, it's true yeah and so that's the great i mean we'll put that on the list we always have a list right it's just like any um any any of your to-do list you have the list in order so uh, something like that would be a wonderful new feature i love that thank you mark i'll send you a bill <laughs> wonderful hey, i i have a suggestion um if, if it's either going too fast or you're having trouble with a tongue twister is um, sometimes it helps to sing it with just the vowels. Like, can I e, uh, ow, e, like that as, yeah, as well, you're, as you're that. listening at the same time? Good. Um, let's see. I can't go back, but let's do it with this one. You can do that partly by listening to these vowels and then we can do that. So here's this new sentence. I'm feeling jet lagged. I'm feeling jet lagged. I'm feeling jet lagged. I'm feeling jet lagged. Okay. So you see, I'm doing it with my head. If you don't, you know, you'll get used to this. You can do it with your hand, but you can start to feel it here too. I'm feeling jet lagged. So now we have green tea feeling red pepper jet lagged. So we have e, 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 e. I'm feeling jet lagged. E -e, something like this. E -e, e -e. I'm feeling jet lagged. I'm feeling jet lagged. I'm feeling jet lagged. I'm feeling jet lagged. E -e, e -e, e -e. 
E A. I'm feeling jet lag. I'm feeling jet lag. E A. So you see what I'm doing for myself? I'm just making songs. <laughs> I'm spending a lot of time on one sentence instead of going quickly through all six. So that's the idea tonight is spending more time on each sentence, listening more times, looking less is sort of our new idea that you braised, that you brought to the table. And, you know, Mark's right, we should make that a feature. Um, I think that's right for Tang's observation that many of us experience, that the more you look, the less likely you are to sound the way we want. Okay, so cover that up work with your hand, listen to the music. Yeah. May I try right. this pen, please? Sure. I'm feeling jet lag. Nice. I'm feeling jet lagged. So that last word, Tang, is jet lagged. It's a black word, <laughs> if I have my chart. It's a black cat word. So here in the markup, we have, this is the stress, jet lagged, but this is black. Can you try again? I'm feeling jet lag. Good. And now I'm feeling jet lagged. Feeling jet lag. Very nice. Yeah, the rhythm will start to feel more natural as you practice that phrase. Jet lagged. It's called a bum bum. Okay, the music. Bum bum. Anyone else want to try it? Yeah, we have our we have our other. Yes, please. Um, let's see, we can't hear you. There we go. Let's see, we can't quite hear you. I'm asking you to unmute. There we go. Can we hear you now? Yeah, yeah. there you go. Now we're ready. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I can I say? Sure. Okay. I'm feeling jet lagged. Good. So jet lagged is uh, when you know it's the lag is the time. So yeah. it's right now I'm hearing legged like a leg uh, next to your arm and your leg. So I'm hearing L E G G of E D. So lagged is a nice black vowel when we come down okay. to the chart. Let me just take my chart for a minute and we'll uh, uh, speak to this. Uh, yeah. Uh, jet uh, lag. Uh, uh. So this is jet lagged. Okay. Jet lagged. So ah. Uh, 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 jaw has to be nice and low. Ah. Uh, jet lagged. You want to okay. try again? Um, yeah. It's no it's no more written. I didn't see anything again. Oh, sorry. That's right. You need to see the actual. <laughs> The sentence, yeah. of course. I'm jet feeling lag. jet lagged. Yeah. I'm, I'm feeling jet lag. That's nice. You know, and actually a lot of people would take the ED off of this. Mm. Like, I'm just feeling jet lag. You could say jet that. Lag. Jet lag. lag. Yeah. Jet lag is getting me, right? I'm <laughs> feeling jet lag. In this case, it's jet lagged. Jet lagged. There's a little ending there with a D. It sounds good. Does anyone else want to try? Yes, let me let me try. Go ahead. Okay. I'm feeling jet lag. Yay, it sounds great. Sounds great. Thank you. I'm yeah. feeling jet lag. Fabulous. Yeah. So this is the kind of work that you can do on your own and then you can always come back. And I think tonight I just really enjoyed listening to you take turns. Um, the next time we have a user session, I'd love to have chances to just actually play on the phones in front of one another, right? Okay. That would be a, a kind of a nice session, wouldn't it? Okay. I think, Penny, when's our next user session like this one, lab class? We were going to do that the second week of January mm -hmm. and the fourth week of January. That's we're right. Twice a month, you guys. Yes. Thank you for reminding me of my own news. Yeah, the good news is we're going to switch into um, first, second, third, and fourth Thursdays of the month, where the first and third will be for teachers, and the second and fourth is for our users and learners and everybody, just like tonight. 
And we're going to do much more with practice and, and doing pronunciation. So please uh, watch for those announcements from Penny. We're really excited about this. And teachers, you'll be hearing from me with opportunities to help out in these second and fourth Thursday sessions, okay? And for teachers, nothing more the rest of this month. That's right. So this is the last meeting of the year. Is that right? Ooh, yeah. Have a good holiday and happy new year, everybody. Holiday for everyone. <laughs> Uh, have a have a good have a good holiday. That's a good sentence. Have a good holiday. Have a good have a good have a good holiday. Happy New Year. Let's hope twenty twenty is better. Yes. Yes. Let's ring in a new better year with more health and more safety and um, blessings to everybody. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. See you in January. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you for.